Hey, hello, hi, hi, you guys, hi. Oh my gosh, hello. How are you doing? Good? Okay. Um, so, update. Um, girl, why your lace showing? You should be shamed. I don't give a damn. I am getting off work on my way to tutoring. I'm tired. I'm tired. That's what it boils down to. I'm tired. Um, I can't tell y'all how many videos I've actually recorded. But because of my level of tiredness and lack of energy, they just wasn't hidden. Like, they, they, they were some car chats, and they just weren't. It wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. Like, it, it wasn't giving me at all. Um, I didn't like it. So, I never posted them. Some of them I think I edited, some of them I didn't. I need to go through my phone and actually see what all... Baby, you taking way too goddamn long. I'm not finna play with you, sis. Shit, I got things to do. Um, something to do. I need to go through and actually edit them, see what's edited, post what I got. Like, it's, it's a lot going on. And then I need to actually record. I want to do tax tips, but... I can't record at home because I can't, I don't sit down long enough. Like, that's why most of the recording you see and will see will be of me in the car. Okay. That, this is going to be a car channel down there. What are you doing? I don't have time for this fuckery. Shit. But anyway. Okay, they from Florida. That's why. They don't know how to drive here. I, I understand. I understand. You don't know what you're doing, and you need to stop. It's traffic time. Um, It's definitely giving very much traffic time. I have to go to, let's see, get off. I get off at 5. Have to drive about 30 minutes all the way to Pearland. If you're not from Houston, this is, like, foreign to you. But I work in West Chase got to drive 30 minutes on the beltway which costs me money to Pearland past my house this is past my house to tutor for usually I get to tutor in about 6 today I'm probably gonna get there 5 30 because I left work early something like that and then so usually I'll get there hold on you know because I don't know what's going on and I need to know what's going on what are you doing sir quit texting Quit texting. Don't do that. That's dangerous. Um, I have to drive 30 minutes to Pearland, past my house, get to Pearland, tutor from about 6 to 7.30-ish. Um, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays, right? So that only leaves me open Monday and Friday where I can just go to work and go home after I get off work. Don't matter what day of the week it is. So, okay, Monday and Friday, I get home at like 6-ish. This is a merch. It's a merch, Billy. Calm down, okay? It's a merch. Calm your nerves. Um, I get home around 6. But when I tutor, I get home around 8.30-ish because it takes me a while. I got to go get something to eat and everything else. Which basically means when I get home, I go straight to my computer. Like, when I say I go straight to my computer, because I have client work, accounting work, it's tax season, all that. Y'all knew I was busy even before this. So, I have to go straight to the computer. There's no other time, like, weekends be a job in itself. Because I be having places to go, TTM stuff to do. And try to get some rest, but so basically, I'm trying to fit what I used to do during the day, every day, in a matter of we'll even just say from 8 p.m. to 10 or 11, which causes me because I'll be sitting at that computer for so, especially when I have a tutor, because I get home later, which means I start working later. I'll be sitting at that computer from 8 to, 
shit damn near almost 11 before I even realize I've been sitting there that long. And my goal is to go to bed at 11.30. Now, don't work like that because it takes me at least an hour to wind down, take a bath, wash my face, like do that whole thing, basically get ready for bed. By the time I go to bed, it's probably like 12, 12.30. Because if I go even the smallest minute past um, my quote unquote schedule, then it'll mess me all the way up. So, point blank, period, reasoning being, um, damn, Bertha, you got some gas on you, think, girl. You better, what you doing, girl? Putting that gas up on them like that. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot. I knew it was going to be a lot going into it. I had already expected it was going to be a lot. To me, it's just a matter of sleep. So, I don't wake up early. Never have, never will. The first three days, a bitch was on time. Like, I was there at like 8.30. No bullshit. Because I thought I had to work 8 to 5. But come to find out, it's like 8.30 to 9. Whatever time you decide to come in during that time frame. A bitch was on time, y'all. I was on time for real. Like, and I live in in traffic. With no traffic, I live 20 minutes from my job. Like, this is what they look like. So, this is this is traffic. Now, I'm going towards my house. The people over there, obviously, that's the way I go when I come to work. Okay. So, it's always traffic when I'm coming to work and when I'm Without traffic, I, I work about 20 minutes away. With traffic, you're looking more at like 30, 40. 40 for show if I'm on time. 30 if I'm a little late. So, I had started like oversleeping, right? Because once I get comfortable somewhere, I always been late to every job I had, first of all. Once I get comfortable somewhere, I tend to not take it as serious and it's a bad it's bad i shouldn't do that but y'all gotta understand my mind is built to where i don't i'm not meant to work for other people so when i i don't have that level of responsibility where it's like you gotta be to work by nine or you get fired type you know i don't have that like in my mind it's like damn i gotta be at work by nine and i want to be to work on time but in the back of my mind i'm like Man, fuck that. I get that when I get there. But that's just because I have an entrepreneur mindset. I don't, me and authority just don't really work together. That's why I've always been late for every job I ever had. Because in my mind, I know how much I don't want to work. And I've never been fired before. I know how much I don't want to work. You, If you fire me, <laughs> like this is how I feel so it's but I really do try to be on time most of what it is is I sleep really hard so I don't hear my alarm like this morning Rodney came and woke me up like he I literally had like four or five alarms going at one time and he woke me up and was like uh are you going to work and I was like oh shit what time is it and it was like 8 42 I was like fuck so like this whole week I've been getting to work at like 9 29 I'm like, Miranda, you already started that fuck shit. You already started. Stop it. You already doing it. So, I have to tell myself, hey, bruh, be the, be, you gotta be at work on time, like, at least by 9 at the latest. This 9.30 shit, because 9.30 gonna turn into 10, and it's gonna get worse. So, I gotta stick to that. Second, some gotta go. I know what it is that has to go. I just can't let it go. And what has to go is tutoring. I always knew it was going to have to go. Um, I knew that was going to be what broke me. Because it's, it. I have to drive. Um, it's very time. It's kind of time consuming. And it doesn't really like pay that much. It's just kind of something I do. But... I've had these kids for years, so it's like, damn, I don't want to leave them. I promise I wasn't going to leave. But I knew when I got a job, 
it was gonna be tough. And that's what's that's the part that's killing me because if I could just go home when I get off work, it wouldn't be as bad. But I can't do that. So it has gotten to a point where my brain is not comprehending. Like you can tell just by the way I just slowed down this whole goddamn conversation. My brain is just not comprehending anything. I don't want to talk to nobody. Like I don't even have the capacity. I don't have the brain capacity to talk to people. Like somebody would call me, I would not answer. I can't tell you last time I talked to Christian. She didn't call me. I'm like, bro, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. At this point, don't even call me because I'm always working. Like I'm either always working or if I'm not working, I don't have the energy to talk. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> like I don't have, I don't have the energy to talk. I don't know what you want for me. And it's like, I don't know if going to bed earlier is going to make a difference. Because even when, 11 is early for me. Like, that's early for me. Even if when I go to sleep at 11 and I wake up at 7 and get like a full 8 plus hours, they don't, I'm still tired. Like, for one, my iron level's low. But that's not going to work for me. So, Get going to bed early I ain't gonna work because people are like well you just need to go to bed bro I can go to bed at 9 o'clock to go to work at 8 30 and still be tired that don't that don't it don't it don't it just don't <laughs> it just don't okay it's not effective at all but um the only thing is and then it's not, it's easier said than done. You gotta think when you're an entrepreneur and you work a nine to five, when else do you think, when else do you think I have time to do entrepreneur work? And as soon as I start a new job, I got a whole bunch of new clients, which I am grateful for. Shout out to y'all. If you're watching, you a real one. Blessings. I need all that. Run me, run me all that coin. Um, when, when, when do I have time other than when I get off work? I can't do everything on the weekends because what happens then is now on the weekends, I'm working, catching up on everything, so I can't go anywhere. So if my mama calls me and say, can you, oh, you want to go out to eat, you want to do this, you want to do that, I already ain't got no social life as it is. Zero. Nada. Not happening. I've been trying to meet to have lunch with my best friend, but I don't know how motherfucking long. I don't know how long. Like, literally, it's been like two months we were supposed to meet up. I don't have no social life. So, on weekends, if I'm working constantly on weekends, I ain't got time to do nothing on weekends. And then what if I got events? Then what? And then in between there, I got to fit in YouTube. Which is why y'all see me mostly in the bar. So, you see what I'm saying? I think her name is Brooklyn in the uh, comments. I told her I was going to give her an update. Brooklyn, I just commented on your comment today like while i was at work it's been like two weeks girl i've been at work no nah, i take that back i've been at work since the 24th because y'all gotta think i record my videos like a week or two in advance some of them you'll see they'll be like three four weeks old so when you see this because you better be watching uh i had just responded to your comment just for this go today today is february 2nd so what the hell smoke coming out of my air conditioner. Girl, wait a minute. Uh-uh. I don't know what kind of shit that is. It's about to freeze in Houston. It's raining. It's, well, it's about to start raining. Oh, y'all. It's, it's a lot, but y'all just pray for me. Um, I'm coming back with some more videos. I'm gonna get y'all some tax videos done. Let me just, I gotta get my energy back. Let me get my energy back. I need to do a reaction video. That's what I need to do to make myself laugh. But uh, I promise y'all, I ain't going to forget about y'all. I ain't going to forget about y'all. Because I know what you're thinking, okay? I know what you're thinking. you thinking, you know what? She tired and then got this new job and she going to forget about us and she ain't going to post nothing. And then we're going to be without our videos. I can see it happening. I know that's what y'all thinking. Don't worry about it. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to do y'all like that. I need YouTube. YouTube is therapeutic for me. So I'm not going to forget about y'all. Videos might slow down a little bit, like not as frequent, but I'm not gonna forget about y'all. Never. That's never happened. I put in too much effort into this channel. So I 
am about to exit the freeway and I'm on somebody's summation. Plus my phone about to run out of memory because I got so many videos and they not uploaded. So I need to work on that tonight. That's gonna be my task for tonight. I think I can assign that task for tonight since I'm almost caught up. It's gonna be one of two tasks. So until next time, again, y'all pray for uh, the, your brethren. And it's it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Cause I got this, cause I'm strong already. You know what I'm saying? I can't even rap. Yeah, you know, I don't even got no bars, bro. I used to have bars. And the bars ain't even coming to me. Bye y'all.